In this video, I'm gonna show you how to stop looking for validation from everybody. External validation. What is validation? Well, it's trying to get the approval of somebody. You see somebody who has some value that is greater than yours, and you're like, oh, I gotta do something to make this person like me, and maybe that value will rub off on me, right? Maybe you see a beautiful woman. And you're like, this woman is more beautiful than any other woman I've been with, so what do I do? I gotta change myself so that she'll like me. Or, oh, this is my boss. I better put on my best working attitude to show my boss how awesome I am. Or you're like with your kids even. I gotta show my kids I'm the best father possible. I gotta do, they can't show them that I'm just human. I gotta be super dad. Or with your friends. Oh, I gotta compete with these guys. I gotta show them how much money I'm making in my business. Or I gotta show them about this promotion and show off these guys and one-upmanship. And the problem with all of these things is that it's just not you being you. When you're seeking validation, you're not seeking to be a secure man. You're seeking the approval of others. And so this is a slippery slope. If you're doing this, and most people do this constantly, all day long, every day, you probably do this. I live my whole life doing this, and I still do it in some regards, and I try my hardest to root that shit out because it sucks. Nobody wants to be that guy who wants approval from somebody else. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to be self-validating, how to be self-approval seeking, so that you can actually live a life unapologetically. My name is Ed Baxter and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betrayed to Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your chip. The first place that we usually work with guys when they're trying to get that external validation is we look at where they're trying to seek validation from women. Because most men are in marriages or most men are in the dating game and they're failing. And so this is the place that usually hits them the most. This is the place that they feel the most vulnerable, the most insecure. And so if we can root this one out, it usually will cascade into the other areas of their life. And so where you're seeking validation from women, we have to start rooting that out. Problem is, is that what we do is we put our value, our value as men on the woman in front of us. If she likes us, if she accepts us, then we must be something. If she'll have sex with us, even better. That's super validating. Problem is, is it's fleeting and it puts our validation, our intrinsic value as a person in the hands of somebody else. It's absolutely ridiculous. And we know it's ridiculous, but what's happening generally is there's some sort of a childhood trauma stuck with this. Some sort of, my mom didn't love me enough. And so when I get out there with another woman, I start talking to her, I have to see that this woman likes me to show me that I'm actually lovable and valuable and that I actually matter in the world. And so this right here will paralyze most guys. They won't even approach a woman because they don't want to face this question about themselves. Do I actually have value in the world? Do I actually matter? And so instead of going within and trying to see that for themselves, they try to get it from everybody else around them, namely in their intimate relationship. And so when mom would yell at the kids, little kid used to learn, oh, I got to make mom happy. If mom's mad, it's probably me. Kids always do this. They internalize all the parents' problems. So if you yell at your kid, the kid doesn't go, oh, I, sh I made a mistake, I should fix it. The kid goes, oh, somehow I'm unlovable. I, as a person, am broken. And so what they'll do is if that doesn't get resolved with the parent, they'll turn it into their intimate relationships with people in the, out in the world. Kid can't have a good relationship with his mom. She didn't give consistent love. And what ends up happening is the child tries to get that love in his intimate relationship. And he doesn't know he's doing this. He just comes off as really needy, really insecure, really needing to text her all the time to see if she still likes him. Or he'll try to do all these sneaky things to try to get his wife to have sex with him all the time. And she's like, I don't like this. I don't like this energy. All you think about is sex. And he's like, I just need love. I need some sort of validation. Can you validate me? And she's like, I don't want to do this. I'm not your mom. She might not even know that she's doing this, but this is generally the feeling that's coming up because if she's giving you validation as a mother, she doesn't want to be her lover. The two energies are not, they're just not compatible. And so for you as a man, you need to find these areas in your life that you are seeking validation from women and start working on like really examining them closely when that happens to you in the moment, like what's really going on here? What is it I'm really looking for? Because it's not really this woman, it's something inside that I'm trying to, some hole I'm trying to fill. What's really going on here? And if you can figure that out, and if you can root that out, then this whole issue of validation seeking from women will start to dissipate on its own. And this lends into all of people pleasing behavior. Because when you're a small child, you grow up trying to please your mom or trying to please your dad just to keep them happy. And you don this whole attitude of, I'm here to make other people happy, even though that's not your job. It's not your job to make other people happy. It's your job to be secure and happy in yourself. 
Just like it was your mom's job to be happy and secure in himself, just like it was your dad's job to be happy and secure in himself. But what ends up happening as a child, you think you're the center of the world, so everything is your fault. And so you grow up with these old programmings and you go all out in society and you try to like people please everybody. Hey, let me help you do this. Let me do this for you. Let me just offer things that I probably shouldn't be offering, a little bit too much. Let me try to be super nice to you so that you don't see me in my faults, so that you don't judge me and reject me like my parents did. And this programming just runs and runs and runs in the background. You have no idea you're doing all this. If you watch your attitude, if you watch your feelings, if you start to actually feel your feelings in the moment, because you meditate and you can take a moment to step back from them and not be so blended with them all the time, then you'll see that most of the interactions that you're doing, and this is true for most people, so I can say that you are probably part of that, is always going to be, am I getting approval from other people? Think about doing a YouTube video like I'm doing right now. How would that make you feel? Standing here on a stage, getting your own symbol, putting your own clothes on, and sitting in a studio full of guys, that like 30 guys, and you're training these guys on how to be more confident. Does that scare you? Yeah, it's probably because you're thinking about what they'll think of you. Probably wonder, wonder what I think of you. And this is the problem. You do everything at the behest of other people, as opposed to what's truly true and right for you inside. And that place is the place where your power comes from. Because every time you're worried about how somebody else is thinking, it's going to diminish you. You say, I can't do that because they're going to think this. And then you just won't do it because you're so afraid of being judged. And that's the game. Learning to self-validate. Give yourself approval. If you can do this, then you'll notice that all of this fear starts to melt away. The biggest place that people hide from this fact is they care about too many things. So really insecure people tend to care about a lot of shit they shouldn't be caring about. They get into politics, they get into sports, they get into racing, they get into business, it doesn't matter. They get into a whole bunch of shit to just distract them from the insecurity they're feeling all the time. To find another way to connect with people because they can't connect with people from the heart level. So they need some sort of a vehicle like sports in order to talk to them. And you'll notice this, that people who have these common interests, they don't have anything to talk about outside the common interests because they can't connect from the heart. Because they need these common interests. They need them. They're a good bridge. They're a good gateway. And so they give a fuck about too many fucking things. Mainly politics is like the biggest one. You can see that in the world today. All these people divided because of politics. Why? Because they're so insecure and so closed off in their heart that they can't actually see what's going on with other people. So it's easier for them to just shut it off and say, yeah, those people are a big fucking problem. And they look at themselves and say, no, actually, I'm the fucking problem because I'm not actually being able to be vulnerable and open with myself. I have to have these vehicles to try to connect with people because I'm not connected with myself. If I was connected with myself, I'd see how much I was hurting. If I saw how much I was hurting, I'd be willing to actually go in there and I'd be willing to go in there and deal with all the hurt because I don't want to be alone, which comes full circle in this whole game of needing validation. I'm so afraid of being alone that I'm gonna not allow people to get close to me. But no, I'm not allowing people to get close to me. I'm even more alone in my suffering. And so you have to stop caring about things that don't matter. You start caring about yourself. Not all these external things that aren't going to help you at all. Start caring about how you are, your internal state, your perspective from moment to moment. If you're willing to go in there and work on that, then you're going to be able to actually connect with people and get what it is you're actually looking for, which is a good connection. And you do this by building up your own self-worth. And you build up your own self-worth, namely what we do here at Genuine Attraction, by making your own goals and starting to crush your own goals. Start self-actualizing. Getting yourself proud of who you are as a person, as a man. The first way we do that is we start setting habits and goals and setting a purpose, a vision for your life. If you can do this and you start hitting wins, you start looking better at yourself. You start going, hey, you know what? I can do some shit. And you're like, yeah, I can do some shit. Then we surround you with a bunch of other guys that are doing some shit. And then they're proud of you. And then you're proud of them. And you're proud of yourself. You're like, holy shit, I'm actually worth something. And you start to see this here with the men. But that still doesn't change it with the women. And so then what we do is we work on your boundaries. Hey, what is it that you want in a relationship? And stop tolerating the bullshit. Stop tolerating all the people that just look at you as a workhorse. Stop looking at all the women who just have all this entitlement. And start looking at yourself as a man of value. And you can look at yourself as a man of value because you've done some big shit by this point. Maybe you started a business. Maybe you raising awesome and amazing children when and before you had no relationship with them at all. Maybe you got clear in your purpose and now you've got that pointed straight towards God and you're clear on what it is you need to do in your life. And now from this place, you're like, you know what, I have some value and I'd expect other people to start noticing it. If they don't notice it, I'm not gonna give a fuck about them.
then from this place, we can start having a conversation of validating yourself through internal exercises, giving yourself mothering energy, giving yourself fathering energy. And what I mean by that is mothering energy is going to be very encouraging, almost enabling to a point like, hey, you're a good dude. You got this. Everybody knows you're a good person. You know you're a good person. Give yourself some fucking credit. Whereas the fathering energy is going to be like, look, brother, you can fucking do this. Stop giving up. You can power through this, and I expect you to make it happen. I expect you to be better than you are right now, and I expect you to move forward, right? The fathering energy is going to be very driving and, but supportive, and the mothering energy is going to be very nurturing and loving. And both of these combined, if you learn how to change your own personal self-talk, can be absolutely powerful in the way that you can start self-validating yourself. All right, I talked a lot about validating yourself. I talked a lot about how to make yourself feel better about yourself, no matter what situation you're in. And hopefully you'll take some of this in this video and you'll apply it to your life because there's nothing worse than having a guy who just doesn't understand his own value and his whole life falls apart around him while he scrambles and pulls on his kids and his wife or his ex-girlfriend trying to make him feel better. This is a guy who is at his lowest point. He's scrambling, has no agency, he's completely a victim and you don't have to be that way. If you're watching this video and this has happened to you, there's a lot more for you in store in the future, trust me. Keep watching these videos or join the Broken a Badass program, then you will absolutely go as fast as you can. Now, I'm not asking you to win every day. I'm just asking you to just be a dog with a bone and don't let it go. Just keep going. Just keep trying. Tap into your indomitable warrior spirit within and just keep going. You don't have to keep winning, but you gotta keep going because keep going means you haven't given up. As long as you haven't given up, you're gonna eventually win. And that's really just the name of the game. So hopefully you found value in this video on how to actualize yourself. If you like it, hit the like button. And if you want to see more like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe right here. And I'll see you in the next one.